This video is sponsored by Fiverr. Welcome to my channel! If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I love to crochet plushies. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back! For today's video, it is a very exciting vlog. I finally completed one of my huge projects that has been on my list for so long, and I will get to share all of the details with you guys. We also make some fun plushies, do some chit-chatting, and it'll be very chill, relaxing crochet vibes once again. But okay, with that, let's get into today's video. Good morning friends, happy Saturday. I came on because today is dedicated to making all of the plushies for my patrons in my plushy lover tier. So every month, if you're part of the plushy lover tier on my Patreon, you will receive a plushie from me, whether it be something you requested or just a mystery plushie. This month, I have a good batch of mystery plushies, and then I think I have two plushie requests that I have to work on. But for this month's mystery plushie, we're in February, by the way. I know by the time this video comes out, maybe it'll be March, but this is for the month of February. I decided the mystery plushie would be... This adorable squid plushie! How cute is this squid? Look at it! Fun fact, last year so many people were obsessed with this pattern. Like I kept seeing this exact squid on my Instagram feed for like days. People loved these squids. And of course I wanted to make a squid too and jump on the trend, but I was just like too busy basically. So now a year later I am finally making my squid and I actually already made two of them and they are so cute, you guys. Let me go show you. Here they are! So I am just doing a bunch of fun colors. I thought for squids, it would be fun to do like the corally kind of colors because that's what I think of like when I think of a squid. But for my third squid, I am gonna do blue. But yeah, look at them. I just like love their little derpy face. Like they're just so cute. And the tentacles are so cute as well. Like you have a bunch of the curly ones and then you have these fun ones that are like, I don't know, I don't really know the um, the makeup of a squid, but you have like fun little tentacles like that. And then like the curly ones that you typically see with like jellyfish. But yeah, I highly recommend this pattern. I will link it down below. I used a five millimeter hook for these and of course Parfait Chunky. And they're just so cute. I had these sitting on my like six cube organizer and they look adorable. I'll have to go show you guys. But yeah, I have to make, I think five squids total. So I am on squid number three these work up pretty quick though because it is no so which is amazing and i really like the size you know like it's the perfect like regular size plushie not too small not too big even though i think a mini squid would be so cute okay this is what the squids look like sitting down like isn't that the cutest thing ever like they're just chilling now i know why this pattern was so popular like it's just so cute guys it's so cute i can't wait to have all of the squids like lined up so those of you who have watched previous videos of mine definitely have heard me talk about how I want to start my very own website. A little background for anybody new here, I sell all of my crochet plushies and patterns on Etsy and I've always only just sold on Etsy. I started my business back in January of 2021. So it's been around three years now. I'm still only selling on Etsy. So it has been a big goal of mine to really just like migrate over to a standalone website. I still will keep my Etsy open, but I really wanna kind of like expand my brand and have my very own website. So it has been in the works for a while now. Honestly, with my schedule and working and just everything else, I haven't really dedicated enough time to building this website. And it's definitely a significant project that will require a lot of like hours of dedication just to building and creating the website. So I decided I wanted to outsource this and get some help with it. I feel like I've heard a lot of other small businesses talk about this, but outsourcing is a great way to get things done that you necessarily don't have the time to do. So this actually brings us to today's Today's sponsor which is Fiverr so if you didn't already know Fiverr connects you with freelancers that offer a wide variety of digital services some of these services include website building video editing social media marketing AI services the list goes on and on and Fiverr has it covered for everything Fiverr also offers freelancer consultation services so if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with a freelancer and kind of get advice and scope out your project this is a perfect option so honestly 
personally the biggest obstacle for me when creating my own website was just investing the time I feel like I have a thousand things going on in the background and I just did not want to carve out time to work on my website I also wanted my website to match my aesthetic my branding and come off as really professional and personally my skill set is just not there to really get my website exactly how I would want it so that's why I ultimately went with Fiverr and outsourcing the website development so I personally have used Fiverr in the past for logos and also marketing content so when I was looking for my next freelancer for my website I typed in some keywords that I thought would be helpful to narrow down the search I specifically wanted a freelancer to migrate my Etsy listings and everything from my Etsy shop onto a website there were a ton of freelancers to choose from so I personally paid attention to the user reviews for each freelancer so I ultimately came across Ian's profile and I decided this is the perfect freelancer for my project he had five-star reviews his portfolio was so amazing I really loved his style of website design so I decided to reach out to him and he made it so simple you guys like I virtually had to do nothing in this process and the end result literally left me like speechless like he killed it so with Etsy migration I just had to download my Etsy data and I sent it over to him and then for the platform I ultimately decided to go with Shopify so I gave him my Shopify information and that's virtually it we did communicate a few times back and forth via messages he wanted to make sure he matched my brand aesthetic so he asked for any like logos that I might have color palettes fonts so I sent all of that over to him and that was really nice of him to ask because branding is super important to me so I thought that was awesome that he asked for that all on his own and other than that I just sat back and waited for it to be done he had a whole week to get it done and honestly that is super short in general like I thought a week was super quick and he got it done early he got it done in like four days which is crazy I was like wow this this man and I actually filmed some footage of me like clicking into the website for the first time because I thought like oh this will be fun to film I'll insert it here okay let's log in let me see online store <gasps> whoa oh my gosh this is so cute I'm speechless oh my gosh wait can you guys see this look how cute it is my very own website finally oh my gosh it is so cool so yeah needless to say I loved the website and afterwards once Ian like confirmed that I was happy with everything he even offered to set up a call to walk me through step by step how to navigate the website on you know like the admin dashboard side and make sure that I understood everything and that everything was perfect without Ian and without Fiverr I honestly don't know how long it would have taken me to finally launch my website so I truly could not have done it without Fiverr it's amazing the experience and skill level that each freelancer has, how easy it is to connect and find a freelancer that's perfect for your project, and it's very budget friendly. Head to fiverr.com slash Jenna to check out all of the services available to you and get 10% off with the code Jenna. I also came on because I received a special package in the mail from one of my viewers. So Erin reached out to me and she told me that she makes these custom stitch markers. So these basically help you keep track of what round you're on when you have patterns that have like oh for rounds one through ten do the same exact thing and I know I always struggle with like keeping track of like what round I'm on so the fact that she like makes these custom stitch markers where you can just label each round is amazing like I can't wait to test these out and she even put crochet by Jenna in the center like that is so adorable she also wrote me a really cute letter and if you're wondering what her handle is it is the bookish craft house I will link it down below but yeah thank you so much Erin I cannot wait to use these these will be a lifesaver Wow, I didn't realize I had so many updates for you guys, but I also wanted to show you that I've been recently pattern testing for my friend Zoe. She is Garden Ho Crochet on Instagram, and she came out with the most adorable idea. She basically created a snail pattern, but instead of like the regular snail shell, she is doing a pattern bundle, and the snails each have a different fruit for their shell. It's so adorable. So I was given the chance to test one of the snail council members. That's what she's calling them. They are a council of snails, and I got to test out the strawberry snail, which is named Strawbert, and I want to show you guys what Strawbert looks like. Here's Strawbert. <laughs> so as you can see, I actually made Strawbert huge. I used a nine millimeter hook and size seven yarn, specifically Parfait XL, because you know me, I love jumbo plushies, but in reality, the snail should be like super tiny, like this tiny. So I need to work on making a tiny 
mini Strawbert because I think a tiny one would be like even cuter honestly than Jumbo. But of course I had to put my Jumbo spin on it when I was testing. I'm like, I need to make a big Strawbert. And yeah, isn't it so adorable? The shell is a strawberry and then you have your little snail friend. So thanks Zoe if you're watching for letting me test. Okay guys, I actually just finished making all of the squids that I needed to make. I actually only needed to make four instead of five and these are the colors that I went with. The last two were the green and the blue. You guys already saw the other two colors previously, so yeah. These are all done now for my patrons and plushie lover club. So now I need to make two other plushies, but the patrons requested a specific plushie, so they will not be getting these squids. Well, hey, Shay. Shay's been so lovey. I want to try and pick up all of the squids and, like, hold them all together because I think that would be cute. So let me go try and grab them. Okay, yay! So here they all are. Oh, my gosh. I don't know a good way to actually hold all of them. Ah, I don't want to crush them. Oh, my gosh. They're so cute together. Okay. Well, I feel like no matter what, I'm going to be, like, covering somebody's face. Okay, there we go. It's, it's kind of working, it's kind of working. But let me know down below what color you like best. Okay, I'll show you guys up close once more. This is like the orange color. We got mint. We got light blue. And then we got this like really pretty like red salmon color. So let me know down below what's your favorite color. So for Jess, I am going to be making her some adorable little dim sum. Um, I don't know how to say this. Bao? Bay? I have to look it up. But yeah, so I'm gonna make her a jumbo size dim sum dumpling thing. And I will probably be using a size 7 yarn because originally this pattern was written using acrylic, so these babies would turn out really small. Okay, I just looked it up. You do pronounce it bao. So I'm going to be making a jumbo bao. And so this yarn has been sitting in my closet for over a year now. I have so many skeins of this specific color because I was trying to make a human sized turtle and I accidentally bought like six skeins of this like off white cream color when I meant to buy white just like solid white so I haven't had a project that required me to use this like off color white in so long so this is the perfect opportunity honestly I might just make a bunch of these just because they look super quick to whip up and I do know that these like bao dim sum cute little like dumpling stuff is like popular right now so maybe i'll just like make a bunch and list them okay so today has been a very productive day i just finished the giant bow and i want to show you guys here it is isn't it so cute it really didn't take that long i think the hardest part was like doing the top portion because you had to like sew back and forth to get kind of like this like clover shape but it turned out so cute i love how like derpy it is and i just filmed a really fun reel in my kitchen i had like a pot and i put the yarn in and then i like cut to the bow being done and then it pops out like this I feel like making jumbo food is really fun just because there's so many creative ways to make reels about the food. One of the things that I want to make next on my list is a shrimp because I've seen so much like crochet shrimp content where people are like putting it in a frying pan and like cooking it and yeah I just think those reels are so fun to make. But this bow is going home to Jess. Thank you so much Jess for being a patron. I can't wait for you to get it. Okay, and so now we only have one more plushie to make for my last patron in Plushie Lover. This is for Leah, so if you're watching Leah, shout out. So for Leah, I'm actually going to make something I've never made before, and it's been on my list to make for a while. Okay, so this is what I was thinking of making. It is Crochet Grove's mermaid pattern. And look, in the pattern pack, she gives you nine different varieties. Oh, wait. There you go. She gives you these nine varieties to choose from. Like, look at all the animal mermaids. And then you have, like, the people mermaids. And I thought it would be a good investment to buy this pattern. Because, honestly, I haven't made any mermaids yet. And I think they would be super cute to make. So for Leah, I think I am going to be making... The frog mermaid. I think it is just so adorable. So I went ahead and I grabbed 
the Sweet Snuggles Light. I usually use Parfait Chunky, but Leah requested it to be Jumbo. So I'm gonna use Sweet Snuggles Light because it is a bit thicker than Parfait. And then I'm gonna use this green color for the frog. And then I already started on the tail, but for the tail, I am doing this really pretty light blue. And as you can see, it's coming out pretty big already. Like this is just the tail and it's like, bigger than my hand so it's gonna be pretty big the pattern calls for a 4.5 hook but I sized up and I'm doing size 6 so we'll see how it turns out but I'm really excited because there's so many different mermaids that I can do in the future so if any of my patrons watching who are in plushy lover club if you guys want a mermaid in the future just send me a message because I definitely want to be making all of the variations in the future Hey guys, so I lied. I actually did need to make five squids total. I don't know why I thought I only needed four. So I just made this squid and I chose this like blueberry blue color and it's so cute. I really like how it turned out. I honestly really like the darker color. I was trying to go for like a pastel light color squid theme, but the dark one turned out so cute. I also finished the frog mermaid and I really love how it turned out. Let me show you guys. Here it is. Like what? It's so cute. It's so derpy and I love how this pattern was designed because the tail goes to the side So it easily can like stand up on its own and I just love it. It is adorable So I definitely will be making more mermaids I want to make all the different variations a frog was high on the list But next I think I want to do a cow and then of course definitely a cat. But yeah, isn't it so cute? I love it. It's so derpy here are all the squids lined up, super cute. I don't know what my favorite color is now. I really do like the blueberry one best, I think. And then we also have the bow just chilling over there by itself. She needs to go home too. Good morning, friends. I'm coming on because I've been working on a small child turtle for one of my customers, and I'm really excited to show you guys. I've never done this color combination before, and I actually really like it. So here's the small child turtle. I did this really pretty sage color for the body and this like blueberry blue for the shell. And I love how the colors look together. It's so cute. And this is my small child size turtle. So it's not as big as my human size turtle, but it's bigger than my jumbo size turtle. I know the naming convention is kind of confusing. I could not come up with a better naming convention. I was like human size, small child, jumbo, and then regular. But yeah, hug check. It's so cute. This is going to a little boy and I think he will really enjoy hugging it as well. I think it'll probably be bigger than him because I think he's like pretty young. So it'll be really cute to have this like massive turtle. And this is what it looks like with the fins out. Like it is pretty massive even though it's considered to be a small child. I haven't made one of these in so long, so I was so happy to get the order from my customer. It's always fun making new color combinations for these as well. So yeah, this one is going off to its forever home. And then speaking of turtles, I also just got done making this jumbo sunflower turtle. It is a mint green body turtle with the sunflower shell. And this is actually for my friend Alicia. It is for her birthday. So I just wanted to say shout out Alicia if you're watching, happy birthday. And I hope you enjoy your sunflower turtle. I'm so excited to send her off to you. Guys, so I came on because I actually added this really tiny ladybug onto the shell of the small child turtle that I just showed you, and it is adorable. I totally forgot that the customer wanted it until I looked at the notes, and it just adds so much cuteness to the turtle. Look at his little friend, so cute. Friends, I wanted to come on because remember the video where I made 23 turtles for Gimme Seaweed? I just got a giant PR box from them, and I'm really excited to open it. It's like massive, wait, there it is. It's, it's right there. Um, let me come bring it closer and let's unbox it together because I am so excited. I love gimme seaweed. It is like the perfect snack if you're craving something light yet like savory. Okay, let me, let me go get the box. Okay, I think it was hard to see how big the box actually was with it sitting on the ground. But for perspective, this is how big the box actually is. Like it is my whole torso. Like what? <laughs> okay, let's open it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. <gasps> oh 
Okay, let's see it. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Do you guys see how much stuff is in here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys, there's probably like over a hundred things of seaweed in here. Gimme seaweed really spoiled me. Oh my gosh. This is crazy, you guys. I'm gonna have seaweed for days. Guys, look, I put it all on Callie's bed. Like, this is crazy. Callie's just like, mom, what is all of this seaweed? Oh my gosh, I wish I filmed it, but Shay just jumped in the box. Baby, what are you trying to do? This is all my gifts. You gotta get out of that box. Oh my gosh, Shay looks so small in this massive box. But all right, I think we're gonna call the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you so much Fiverr again for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check out fiverr.com slash Jenna to see all of the services available to you and get 10% off with the code Jenna. But all right, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you again for all of the support and love and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye. Yeah.